I don't know if you can hear me because the bike is so bloody loud. And this is the brand new ZX10R. So with us we have Anupam, we have Rudy, we have Jeremy. So I hope the angle is good. This bike with Kaibo's exhaust is very loud, yeah, very loud. This is a 2015 ZX10R. For an old gen, it's not a bad bike, yeah. So as you can see all the guys are very excited and they're going in front. I'm the guy who's uh, kind of going in last. Reason being, this is a new bike for me and I don't have too much confidence. But once I get to Meghalaya and once I get to the turns, then I'll see my limits. I mean, I'll, I'm not going to go over fast or something, but then I'll just check like, how can I ride this bike? But it feels good to be back after so long. One negative side on this bike that I found, I mean I read it online, I don't know for sure and I never tested it out, is that this particular model doesn't have ABS. So if that's the case, that's a bit risky. Uh, but not for us though, because we are experienced riders, we are old riders. And for us ABS plays a negative role actually. All hail the Lord Ganesha. I really miss my tank grips here. Yeah. Had there been tank grips over here, the ride would be much, much better. I could grip the tank more with my knees. So whenever you're in charge of a ride, you have to notice what's going on in front and what's going on at the back. So I've got these rear view mirrors to check what's going on at the back. Because I need to make sure that all my riders are safe, not just me. acceleration and the stopping power but I see a new error here so whenever I'm riding the bike there's some lights going on there's one malfunction light going on blinking and there's a red line blinking on the left side I don't know what these are for but I'll have to get it checked suspension is nice and plush I mean it was all shit tuned uh, so the preload now even on my track bike we don't put too much of pressure on the preload if we need We'll put on uh, different springs, but we never put too much pressure on the preload. Reason being, when you're compressing the spring too much, you're reducing the play range of the suspension. So, uh, the preload on this thing was put to 15. I put it, I took it out, made it 4. So, I'm kind of riding this bike on a manual mode. So when all these things keep blinking on your dash, you should know one fact that none of your electronics, which are already limited on this bike, <laughs> are working. So that means my traction control is not working. My power mode is working though, it's working on full power. Oh, after riding all these advanced bikes, I really miss the quick shifter. This bike doesn't have one. But then we can always send the ECU to someone who does coding. And this is all these things are done in Malaysia, Singapore. You can always send the ECU there and uh, activate the quick shifter. So they are basically going to program the entire quick shifter into the bike. Rims are fine. It's fine. Looks fine. Pothole, pothole, Maris. The road has been damaged quite a bit. So we really have to be careful.
that was fun after a long time slow speed i mean moderately fast but i enjoyed the corners yeah That's body coming in the car and that's Jeremy So I'll tell you a secret What's the safest way of riding on the roads? You see these trucks and all So you never know which one of these is gonna come at you I mean they'll be parked right in the middle because they have gone bad and then you'll be coming at full speed And suddenly you run across them and game over That's it for you So you have to be very careful while you ride in the streets and your angle of view also matters a lot so basically if you're riding straight up or you know if you're leaning also if you're leaning straight up with a good vision that you get then you're safe comparatively if you're riding fast but uh, if you if your way of view is like this down here what happens is that your entire vision is blocked down so what's happening is you can't see what's there in the front properly now you're vulnerable After so many years, we are back at Dongpo, and this is wonderful. That is on a bike, and oh, look at this guy, he's dancing. <laughs> so, this is the kind of fun that we have on the streets. You see, this is the kind of enjoyment that we have. So finally all the guys are here, all our guys are here and we have reached Excellencia which is like our favorite Bob's there <laughs> So these guys are waiting out that side and buddy on the way here and this is Bob's bike These guys are parked out there Our bikes are parked out so basically this entire thing belongs to us The entire parking, it's all our bikes <sighs> Jerry, Anupam, that's uh, Rudy, the beautiful Street Fighter owner and we're just waiting for one guy that's buddy what a ride man what a ride man enjoyed fuck yeah oh we should do this often yeah fuck yeah yeah man and finally the main guy from our group but he's not riding he's coming in a car because uh, he had some meetings and all in Guwahati so he could not ride but nevertheless we're very happy that he's here with us buddy 
Do you miss your bike or not? A lot. <laughs> 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 so we'll just just go have something upstairs and then I'll get back to you. So for now, signing off and going to eat something. All right, guys. So it's been a fun day and we're ending the vlog right now. Uh, we'll do some photo shoots. The bikes are coming in. We'll do some photo shoots and then we'll head off back to Guwahati. Uh, I'll not take too much of your time. That's it for today. And we'll be sure to make more vlogs on the ZX 10R. So see you guys. Keep watching, believing, sharing and subscribing to our channel. Bye bye from Sajan Sharma.